What is a 63-year-old's morning skincare routine? Well, stay tuned and I'll tell you. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. I haven't done a skincare routine video in a few years, and people have asked me recently, what is your morning skincare routine? What is your evening skincare routine? So I am always sending them my last video. So yeah, it's time to do a new one. And I just turned 63. I haven't done Botox. I haven't done fillers or any other kind of visit to a doctor or an esthetician to do any kind of procedures. I'm not against them. Someone recently said to me that I'm against Botox and fillers, and I'm not. I'm not against them. I just haven't done them. Hey, if money was no object, I'd be doing them, believe it or not. Um, there's so many YouTubers who do some kind of procedures or have them done on their face, and they look fantastic. They don't even look like they've had something done. They just look really good. So I'm not against it. I just haven't done it. So my skin... I'm looking at, at a monitor right now of myself, and it's basically, it's not genetic. So I've shown the picture of my dad when he was 52 and I was 17. That's my genetics. I have his skin. I don't have my mother's skin. And it, I attribute it to changing my diet when I was 38 and then my skincare. So I'm going to tell you everything that I do. If you're enjoying this video, please tap the thumbs up button. That really helps my channel and helps other people find this video. Now, all the products that I'm talking about and the products that I'm wearing, my makeup products, are all going to be listed in the description box below the video. So let's talk about how to get to the description box. If you're watching on a phone or a tablet, you go below the video and sort of to the right in the text you'll see the word more tap that word more that opens the description box partially and then you'll see the word more again tap it again and that opens the description box completely you can scroll through and find all the links i'm talking about today links to other videos you might be interested in, including the evening skincare routine which i'll also link in a card at the end or in a little card in the upper right hand corner now, if you're watching a computer, it's a little different. You go below the video, and as I'm recording this, the words are show more. Click those words with your mouth, show more, and that opens the description box completely. And everything is there. Some products, I'm giving you a couple options for what store to shop at in case you prefer Amazon or you don't prefer Amazon, for example. So all those links will be there. All right. So the other thing I want to tell you is I have some other anti-aging tips to give you and I have a free anti-aging tip sheet. It's actually three pages in a PDF and it's completely free. So to get that you have to go to my website glorybee-tv.com slash get-tips and on that page you'll type your email address Click the pink Get My Tips button and you'll get the tips. So there are some recipes on there that I think are wonderful for anti-aging, for what you can eat and drink in the morning, and also links to products I like and links to makeup products I like. All right, so let's get right into the products that I use in the morning. The first thing I do, of course, is cleanse. And instead of just using my fingers or instead of using a washcloth, I use this device from Naomi. Now, this can be a little difficult to get, so a couple options I found. One is the Ferreo Luna. Now, that's a little pricey, but I have a link to it. I think the Mini is just fine. And um, then I found another one that's cheaper, but it has a lot of really good reviews. It's called the Easy Basics Silicone Facial Cleansing they call it a brush, but it's these little bristles. And all of them are cordless, but you do charge it up. And then you turn on the button. And let's see, I'm going to bring the microphone near there so you can hear it a little bit. Can you hear that? And 
On all these devices, you can change how intense the little vibration is, and then you just turn it off. I put a little bit of cleanser on here, spread it with my finger, and then massage it all over my face. Now, what cleansers do I use? Well, I have two options. I either use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, comes in a pump, just one little pump is all I need, or I've been using, this is the travel size of the Tula, it's called the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser, a little dab will do you. So after doing that all over my face and rinsing it, my skin feels so good using this. I feel like I've just used an exfoliator. Now, speaking of exfoliators, three days a week I do use one, like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I use this one from Myzon. This has been like a YouTube popular um, exfoliator for a long time. This is the Myzon Apple Smoothie Peeling Gel. Does it peel? I don't know. But it's a little bit acidic, but you rinse it off. Now, there have been some um, alpha hydroxy acids, which is this similar to. My skin doesn't do very well with alpha hydroxy acids, but it does well with this because after smoothing it on my face, I rinse it off. And again, just great for exfoliating and making my skin feel really fresh. Next, I'm getting right into my serums, and I start with a vitamin C serum every day. Now, I have a few options for you. The first is the one from Timeless. They're vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. This one is excellent, and it is affordable. I now purchase it in the bigger size. I think it's like four ounces and I decant it into a smaller bottle. And the reason I do that is because if you let it sit in room temperature, that whole big bottle for too long, it'll go bad. So I keep the big bottle in the refrigerator, just pour some in here in this little bottle, and it's fine. It doesn't go bad by the time I use it up, and then I just fill it again. So for vitamin C, I just put a few drops into the palm of my hand, take my other hand with a couple fingers and do this and I just pat it all over my face. I take what's left over in my hand. I put that down my neck. Now what are some other options for vitamin C serum? I've also used the one from Dermatology. I love that one. And in the link below, when you click the link that I provide you for Dermatology products for that brand, it automatically applies a 20% discount to your whatever you order. So you never want to order from them without that link because you want the 20% discount. I ran out of that one, so I don't have it now. But then my third option for vitamin C serum is to make my own. And I have a video all about that, which includes links in that video for how to buy the products to make it. And I'll include that in the description box below, of course. Then I do another serum, and I go back and forth between a few favorites. Once again, I just put like two or three drops in the palm of my hand, take two or three fingers, wish it around, put it on my face, and I'm ready to go. So one of my favorites that I'm out of right now is the Dermatology brand Needleless Serum. That's a wonderful serum. And the thing I like about all these serums is that they have things in it like matrixyl, hyaluronic acid, and other nourishing ingredients that help hold in moisture. Okay, then another one, the one I'm actually using right now, is by a brand called The Ordinary. This is really affordable. They used to call this the Buffet. Now they changed the name, and it's called the Multipeptide and HA Hyaluronic Serum. Okay, formerly known as Buffet. This one's excellent. And then a third one that I'll use is one of the other Timeless brand, and I love their serums, the ones that have the Matrixel. This one, I haven't started yet. I'm waiting to run out of the ordinary. This one from Timeless is their Coenzyme Q10 serum. I'm going to tell you what's in it, but it's in tiny little print. 
This one has their Matrixel 3000 Ubiquinone Glycerin Hyaluronic Acid Aloe something I can't pronounce, Barbadensis, Vitamin E. So just really great for skin. And I like to try different ones that I like a lot and just use one up and then start the other. They're all wonderful. All right, then I'm done with serums. Now is my most important skincare ingredient of the morning, which is sunscreen. Now, I always use a sunscreen that's called physical or mineral, and that means that the active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, or at least one of those. So it means that I'm not using chemical sunscreen ingredients. And you, when you look at the packaging and you look at the ingredients, if any of the active sunscreen ingredients and then the letters A-T-E, that's a chemical. So I don't use those. And I've studied this, I've looked into it, and they're just not something I want to put on my skin. I have two favorites. One is the Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice has lots of really good sunscreen products for the face, depending on what kind of skin you have. So I use this one that comes in this burgundy tube. It's from their skin recovery line, which is great for mature skin. They call it dry or very dry, whatever. Um, it just works really well. But if you have other skin conditions, take a look at their website. I'll have a link below to this so you can click that and then see what else they have. Um, if you have oily skin, they've got a sunscreen for you. If they, if you have um, other kinds of skin issues, they've got one for you. So this one is SPF 30. Broad spectrum means that it blocks UVA and UVB rays. So that one's wonderful. And then the other one I'm trying just recently came out by Dermatology. It's called Daydream. Now it looks like it's in a jar, which at first I thought, well, a jar. But actually, it's a pump. So I don't know if you can see this, but I actually press down on this pump, and in this little hole in the middle, the sunscreen comes out. So that one is a wonderful physical mineral sunscreen as well. Then to top it all off, I put on a little lip balm. This is one of my favorites, the Nivea. They call this one a Kiss of Moisture lip balm. Now they have different kinds. That's because they're different flavors, but this one in the dark blue is the only one that has no flavor and no scent. And if you've watched my videos for a long time, you know I can't do scents. Or if I use scented products, whether in skincare or makeup or in my house, they have to be so lightly scented that I can barely smell them. So I like natural scents, like flowers, but fake scents I can't do. Yeah, so this one is awesome. I keep one near my bedside. I keep one in my purse. I keep one in my medicine cabinet. I think I keep one in my desk drawer. Yeah, I do. I think I keep, there's one in my kitchen drawer because sometimes my lips are dry and I don't feel like running over to my purse or my bathroom. It's right there in the kitchen. So I buy these all the time. And the link below, I believe, is to Target and they sell it in a package of two for like, under four dollars so that's an excellent price now what I do you know when you put on these serums and then a sunscreen the skin is still really kind of wet to then be putting on makeup right so I don't know about you but I like some time between when I put on that last skincare ingredient to when I put on my makeup so for me I spend almost an hour every day in prayer and that lets my skin also have that time to absorb all of the ingredients and then I'm ready for my makeup. So you might find something else to do after you finish that before you put your makeup on. Now if you want to know how I do my nighttime routine, it's not the same every night. I have some products that I do every other day check out my nighttime routine and I'll link it on the right side of the screen along with a second video. 
I don't know what I'm going to pick. It's a mystery. And thank you for watching. I'd like to know what your skincare routine is too. Put it in the comments below. Thanks.